This is Jared Horak for todaysracingdigest.com, and this is my bonus video for Saturday, April 15th, 2017. We're going to do the 11th race from Oakland Park, the Grade 1 Arkansas Derby for three-year-olds. Nine furlongs on the main track. We have a full field in here. Classic Empire is going to be your morning line favorite. And let's look at his uh, digest numbers. Now, if you look at his fire rating from the Breeders' Cup Juvenile, obviously, if he can run back to that kind of number, he, he's going to win this race. But the problem is, he's had nothing but, but problems this year. He's only run one time. He's only had nine workouts for the whole year. And he ran in the Holy Bull. He ended up finishing a flat third. And then he's, he had some, some problems with his feet. And so he was able to, he missed his start in, in the Fountain of Youth Stakes. Uh, so they tried to work him out and try to get him back on the track. He refused to work a few times during the month of March. Uh, they took him to the farm. Uh, they, they seem to got him back on track now uh, for, for workouts. Uh, but he hasn't run in 10 weeks. He's only had nine works since the Breeders' Cup Juvenile last year. That was last November. So in the last five months, he's only worked nine times. They've had all kinds of problems getting him back to the track. Obviously, he has a lot of talent. And on his best day, he can beat this field. But I, I have no idea what he's going to do. He's, he's 8 to 5. He's probably going to be lower than that. And, and I think you got to try to beat him in this spot. Um, Malaga C is going to be your second choice on the morning line. He's undefeated. He's 3 for 3. His fire ratings in each of his three starts were better than the last. So he's, he's improving. But he's out in post 12. This is the longest race of his career. Uh, in that last race in the Rebel Stakes, it kind of looked like he was getting tired in the late going. And, and a lot of the horses... The top finishers in that race were kind of bunched up, and, and they didn't finish strong. So it just seems like longer distance, outside post, more pace. Uh, he could be getting tired in, in the late going. So maybe this race is, is right to, for a little bit of an upset, and maybe untrapped number nine can get the job done in here. He's putting blinkers on. He's been very consistent. If you look at his fire numbers, uh, in, in the, his last five fire numbers, all of them better than the last. In his last rating, he got 100 fire numbers, so that was... That was a good number. He's, he's improving, coming off of his best effort yet over the track in his first start at Oakland in the Rebel Stakes, where he finished a decent second. Prior to that, in the Risen Star against Gervin, who came back and won the Louisiana Derby, he finished second to that one. And if Gervin was in this spot, he would certainly be my top choice. So Untrap has been showing ability, very consistent. He sits in mid-pack and he pounces. He's got a new rider, Mike Smith, with the blinkers on. Maybe he'll be a little more focused in this start. And I think that Maybe he can pull off a bit of an upset. He's 6-1 to one morning line, and hopefully we can get every bit of, of that 6-1 to one price. Some others worth considering. Petrov, number 4. He's 12-1 to one morning line. He's one that I've liked throughout these Oakland prep races. I liked him in the Smarty Jones Stakes. He finished second there. I liked him in the Southwest. He finished second. I gave him another shot in the Rebel. He was a bit flat in the stretch in, in that one. Uh, but I don't know if he really wants to go this far. That's my biggest question with him. His pace rating did go down last time, but then his final rating was just the same of his, of his, in his prior start in the Southwest. So that concerns me. I thought that maybe if his pace rating went down, his, fire, his, his final time rating would go up, but that wasn't the case. So I think that maybe when he get in, gets into these longer races, uh, I don't really know how much further he wants to go past a mile, but he does have some talent, and he should be pouncing from mid-pack. And he's got a new rider, too, Ricardo Santana Jr. So he gets that local rider, the leading rider at Oakland, who's, who's been so good there and look for him uh, to give this horse every chance uh, to succeed from a decent post. Uh, Rockin' Rudy, number one, is one worth looking at uh, for trainer uh, Doug O'Neill. Red on Racing, they had IREP upset uh, the, the Bluegrass last week, and, and they'd like to get this horse in the Derby as well. Uh, he's been sprinting, but he's been showing ability. Downhill turf sprint last time at Santa Anita. He's run well in all three of his sprint starts. From the inside post, you have to think he's going to show speed. They're taking blinkers off of this horse, and but look for him to be forwardly placed under Mario Gutierrez. And then up some others worth considering, Silver Dust, he's 20 to 1 morning line, adding blinkers. He was within three lengths of the finish last time, with an okay fire rating in the Rebel. I think maybe this bit of a longer trip he could like. Another horse that should like the longer trip, looking at Lee for trainer Steve Asmussen. He likes to just sit back, make a late run, and, and this mile and eighth distance should be good for him. He should get some pace help. He's been well beaten in his last few starts, but, but he sits back, makes that run, and I would not be shocked if he snuck in uh, somewhere into the, into the at least trifecta or superfecta. A Sonneteer is still a maiden after nine starts. He surprisingly ran well in the Rebel. We'll have to see if he can run that same race. I, I'm not a believer uh, in, in that horse in this spot. So here are my top four contenders in the Rebel Stakes for 2017. My top choice is going to be Untrapped. My second choice is Petrov. 
my third choice, Brock and Rudy, and then we're going to make co-fourth choices of Silver Dust and looking at Lee. I'm going to make a win and place bet on Untrapped in this race. Play an exact that we're going to put Untrapped in first and second with Petrov and, and Rock and Rudy. And then if you're playing trifectas and superfectas, I suggest throwing in uh, Silver Dust and looking at Lee. I think both of those horses have a decent shot to hit the board in here. If you're interested in that uh, Oakland Park Complete Digest, you can go over to todaysracingdigest.com, click on the products page, you can purchase the, the Complete Digest for Oakland Park for Saturday, April 15th. Good card for Oakland that day, good stakes races, multiple stakes races, and the Digest has all the information you need to succeed. If you're interested in my full card analysis, also available at todaysracingdigest.com, on the products, on the, um, actually on the Professional Handicappers Report tab, you can find my full card analysis at Today's Racing Digest each day. Full cards from Santa Anita Park, plus bonus races from around the country. Now that'll wrap up this week's video. Uh, we'll be back next week with a stakes race from Santa Anita Park. Until then, good luck at the races.